Hello everyone, my name is Manoj from Mantra Welfare. In this video, we will explore the Control System Designer Toolbox with some applications. In the first half of the video, we will see how can we plot a body plot and a step response for the given transfer function and we will compare these results with the plots that will be obtained from the three different functions. In the second half of the video, we will see how can we design a control system with tunable compensator using the control system designer toolbox. So let's get started into our video. First, what is transfer function? Transfer function is a ratio of the output of a system to the input of the system in Laplace domain with zero initial conditions. This transfer function models the system. Any system can be modeled using this transfer function. Next, border plot. Border plot is one of the frequency response plot of the transfer function. This border plot contains two graphs. One is magnitude plot in decibels versus frequency. Another one is phase plot in degrees versus frequency. Now let us consider a transfer function as an example for this border plot. G of s is equal to s square plus s plus 25 by s cube plus 100 s square. Replace s with j omega and take the absolute value. It will give the magnitude plot. Now by taking the angle of the g of j omega, it will give the phase plot. Now we will implement this body plot in MATLAB. I am using live script here. First, we should clear the command window and close the open windows using CLC clear close all commands. Next, we should take the coefficients of the numerator and denominator from the user and we should generate a symbolic transfer function. Here symbolic transfer function means we should convert the transfer function into a symbolic variable because for calculating the absolute value and for calculating the angle we should use a symbolic variable. So we should convert the transfer function into a symbolic variable. First step is to take the numerator coefficients from the user using input function. Numerator is equals to input of enter the coefficients in numerator next step is to take the input of denominator coefficients from the user using input function denominator is equals to input of enter the coefficients in denominator next we should pass these numerator coefficients and denominator coefficients into the tf function tf function is used for creating a transfer function variable so frequency domain is equals to tf of numerator comma denominator this will generate a transfer function variable. Now we should convert this transfer function variable into a symbolic variable which will be in the s variable. So we should create a symbolic variable that is s. Now we should convert the poly numerator into symbolic numerator using poly to sim function. Similarly for the denominator. sim underscore dn is equals to poly to sim of denominator comma s now we should divide the numerator and denominator to get the symbolic transfer function so sim underscore tf is equals to sim underscore numerator by sim underscore denominator so this will give us the symbolic transfer function now we will run up to here so 
so as you can see on the left side the compiler is running and waiting for our input so the transfer function contains the numerator coefficients as 1 comma 1 and 25 and the denominator coefficients are 100 0 0 now it is running and successfully compiled without any errors so it has been successfully run we will move on to our next section first we should find the minimum frequency and maximum frequency within these minimum and maximum frequency only there will be change in the Bode plot so this will act as a limits for the frequency so the minimum frequency is represented by omega l and maximum frequency is represented by omega h so we should find these omega l and omega h and we should assign it to the omega first we will find the numerator that is numerator coefficients divided by the gcd of these numerator coefficients gcd function is works on symbolic variable so we should again convert this numerator variable into symbolic variable using sim similarly for the denominator den is equal to denominator divided by gcd of sim of denominator next omega l is equals to least value of the numerator and denominator coefficients so for this i used min function which will give us the least value in the num and den array divided by 10 will give us the omega l now omega h is equals to max of num comma den into 10 num comma den into 10 next we will assign this omega l to omega h to omega variable so omega is equals to omega l to omega h now we should remove these zero frequencies so for that omega is equals to omega of omega not equal to zero it will take the non-zero values only it will eliminate the zero values next we will find the magnitude in decibels and phase in degrees magnitude in decibels and phase in degrees for that we will use absolute function to find the magnitude so mag is equals to abs of substitute of sim transfer function comma s comma omega into 1 i here substitute function is used for substituting the j omega in the place of s similarly for the phase also we will do substitution now we will get this magnitude in decibels using 20 log of magnitude this will give us magnitude in decibels now for phase phase is equals to angle of here also we should substitute j omega in the place of s in symbolic transfer function variable 
इसका ओमेगा स्टार वन आई नाउ फेस इन डिग्रीज बाई डिफॉल्ट एंगल फंक्शन विल गिव अस दी फेस इन रेडियंस वी शुड कन्वर्ट दिस रेडियंस इन टू डिग्रीज बाय यूजिंग वन एटी डिवाइडेड बाय पाई वी शुड मल्टीप्लाई दिस फेस by one eighty divided by pi this will convert the radians into the degrees now i am removing the positive phase angles so remove any positive phase angles by subtracting three sixty degrees Here I am subtracting three sixty degrees because tan of minus three sixty is zero, so there will be no effect for subtracting three sixty degrees. For this, I am using a for loop. For i is equals to one to length of phase in degrees. For every iteration, it should check whether the Phase in degrees is greater than zero or not. If it is greater than zero, it should subtract three hundred sixty degrees from it. I is equals to phase underscore degree of I. Minus three sixty. End for if and end for for loop. Now I will run this section. So it is running. So it is successfully run without any errors. Now we found the magnitude and phase. Now we will plot this. Plot the magnitude and phase so in the same figure we should get the magnitude plot and phase plot so i am using subplot in the first subplot we should plot the magnitude so plot of omega comma magnitude in db title is bode plot Y label is magnitude in dB. Now we will plot the phase. Plot omega comma phase in degrees. X label is frequency in radians per second. Y label is phase in degrees. Now we will run this section. So it gives the border plot. In the next section, we will plot the 
border plot using a predefined function in the control system toolbox so border plot using predefined function we should get it in a separate figure border of frequency domain So running this section will give us the border plot. So we got the border plot. Now I will open in a separate figure window. Open in figure window. So now I will compare the both border plots that we got so figure 4 shows the predefined border plot figure 5 shows the border plot which I got I will zoom this section alone so by dragging and zooming we got this border plot Similarly, we will do for the face plot. So, as you can see, it is similar to the predefined border plot. So, we got the border plot correct. Do you remember when you attend your first math class? You were unaware of additions and subtractions before it was taught to you. But today, you can do it on your fingertips. This was possible only due to a lot of practice. All the gratefulness to your highly complex brain with billions of interconnected nodes called neurons can keep learning stuff. A neural network is a series of algorithms that endeavors to recognize underlying relationship in a data set through a process that mimics the way the human brain operates. Learn the neural network by joining our premium course and get a certificate on successful completion. Now we will do the step response. First, what is step response? The step response of a system is defined as the output of a system for the given step input. Note that this is a time domain response. If the step input amplitude is unit, then we will call it as a unit step response. Let us consider a transfer function as shown. g of s is equal to s plus 1 by s square plus 0.1s plus 0.01. Now we will multiply this transfer function into 1 by s because the Laplace transformation for this step input will be 1 by s. In order to get the output equation, we will multiply this transfer function to 1 by s. Now we will do the inverse Laplace transformation in order to get the y of t in time domain. So this is the time domain equation. Now we will implement the same step response in MATLAB. Here I am doing it in the live script. In the first section I am clearing the command window and closing the windows. Next. Take the numerator and denominator coefficients from the user and pass it into the tf function. tf function will generate a transfer function for the given numerator and denominator coefficients. And pass it to tf function. Numerator is equals to we will use input function for taking the input from the user. Enter the coefficients of numerator. Similarly for the denominator. Denominator is equals to input of enter the coefficients of denominator
next we will pass this numerator and denominator to tf function and assign it to the transfer underscore fun variable tf of numerator comma denominator now we should multiply this transfer function with 1 by s this is already explained why we are multiplying the transfer function to 1 by s because the 1 by s is the Laplace transformation for the unit step signal to do this output transfer function is equals to transfer function multiplied by 1 by s to get the 1 by s again we should pass the numerator and denominator coefficients to tf function this will multiply the transfer function to 1 by s and it will assign it to the output underscore tf variable now we should do the inverse laplace transfer function sorry transformation to do this I will send this output underscore tf variable to i laplace tf function this function is defined by me we will see this function later so the command will be output underscore time underscore domain is equals to i laplace tf of output underscore tf this will convert the frequency domain transfer function to the time domain transfer function so we will see the i laplace tf function so in this function first the input argument is converted into the polynomial separately for the numerator and denominator and this polynomial variables are converted into the symbolic variable using poly to sim separately for the numerator and denominator now the symbolic numerator and symbolic denominator variables are divided to get the symbolic transfer function this symbolic transfer function is written so the transfer function is converted into the time domain by taking the inverse laplace transformation now we will run this section so it is asking the coefficients in the numerator according to our example the coefficients in the numerator are 1 and 1 and the coefficients in denominator are 1 0 0.1 and 0 0.01 so it is being compiled successfully now we will move on to the next section here we will find the settling time we are finding the settling time for setting the x limits it will be useful for the x limits so find settling time for second order system this program is applicable only for the second order system so omega n is equals to square root of last coefficient in the denominator so denominator of end zeta is equals to denominator of 2 that is the middle coefficient divided by 2 times the omega n so now using omega n and zeta we will find the settling time capital T s is equals to 4 divided by zeta into omega n this will give the settling time now we will run this section alone so it, it has been successfully run the omega n value is 0 0.1 and the settling time is 80 seconds 
now we will move on to the next section this is the last section we will plot the step response using the is at plot function here we are using is at plot because the variable is a symbolic and also we are having the x limit so using is at plot is more appropriate so is at plot of sorry output underscore time underscore domain is our function the limits are 0 to twice the second time we will give the title as step response x label as time in seconds y label is amplitude now we will run this section it is running we got the output now we will check this output using the predefined function in the toolbox so in the next section we will plot the step response of the system using the predefined function step of transfer function now we will run the section We got the output. We will open these two plots in a separate figure window. This one also. Now we will compare the step response. This is the one we wrote, wrote the code for. We will drag accordingly to get the similar response as the predefined one has. So this is the one we got. So thus we successfully got the step response correctly and we verified it using the predefined function do you want to be trained from mathwork certified matlab associate our training will allow you to learn and groom your skills your developed skills of matlab and simulink is highly valued in the market and will enhance your chance of employability your proficiency is assessed throughout the training project and online assessment you will be given a MATLAB helper certificate of merit or achievement for the training period. Choose the training period from 1 day to 10 weeks as per your choice and boost your knowledge. In real-time applications, 
the controllers should be designed as specified by the design requirements. While designing, we should use the step response and border plot frequently. Performing these programs for every time will be hard. Control system designer toolbox will overcome this difficulty and there are so many additional points that are very useful to design a control system. Now we will explore the control system designer toolbox. Now we will start exploring the control system designer toolbox using two applications. First one is a simple model of a DC motor driving an inertial load. This is the model. Here the aim of the controller is to control the angular rate by varying the applied voltage. The transfer function for this system is 1 divided by s square plus 14s plus 40.02. This transfer function can be obtained using these parameters. Now, our design requirements are rise time should be less than 0.5 seconds, steady state error should be less than 5%, overshoot should be less than 10%, gain margin should be greater than 20 degrees, and the phase margin should be greater than 40 degrees. Now we will design a controller in the control system designer toolbox. First, we will assign our transfer function of the DC motor to a variable capital G. For that, capital G is equals to PF of numerator coefficients that is 1 and the denominator coefficients that are 1, 14 and 40.02. So this will generate a transfer function and it will assign it to a variable capital G. Now we will invoke the control system designer toolbox using this command control capital S system capital D designer of capital G. So this will open the toolbox. The control system designer toolbox is open. There are body plot root locus and the step response for the given transfer function. Now we will see some architectures. There are some architectures in the toolbox. Defaultly this will be our architecture. We can change the architecture to any of this. According to our requirement we can select any of these architectures. So in our architecture Capital G is the transfer function of the plant model, capital H is the sensor, capital F is the prefilter, and capital C is the compensator. Initially, F, C, and H are unity. We can import the transfer functions from the workspace using this import symbol. So, we will close this. Now, First, we will give our design requirements into the step response. So, the rise time should be 0 0.5 seconds. The settling time can be the double the rise time. So, it should be 1 second and the overshoot is 10%. So, after giving these design requirements, this step response will look like this. There are yellow region and white region. Our graph should be in the white region in order to meet the design requirements. So we should manipulate the compensator transfer function to set the step response into the white region. As a first step, we will change the gain crossover frequency to 3. So the 1 by 3 will give the rise time that is 0 0.33 which is less than 0 0.5 seconds. For that we will change the gain of the Bode plot by dragging the magnitude plot. As you can see by dragging it there is dynamically changing the step response. So this is the beauty of this toolbox. So after setting to 3 
gain crossover frequency this check response will look like this so to eliminate this steady state response we will add an integrator so for that we will right click on the root locus and add the integrator integrator means pole at the origin so after adding this step response will look like this again the rise time is changed so for that we will again drag the magnitude plot to get the gain crossover frequency as 3 so we will change the gain by dragging the magnitude plot after doing this we will get the step response like this the overshoot lies in the yellow region this means the overshoot is greater than the required that is 10 percent for this example adding an integrator and changing the gain is insufficient to meet the design requirements we should add a lead network or lag network since the face margin is 31 degrees we should add a lead network we will see the method for finding the lead network first phi phi is equals to face margin decide plus epsilon minus face margin actual where epsilon is say any random multiple of phi here i took 25 so phi is equals to the desired face margin is 60 plus 25 minus actual face margin which is 31 it will give us 54 so we can find alpha. Alpha is equals to 1 minus sin phi by 1 plus sin phi. This is 0 0.105. We can find A. A is equals to minus 20 into log of 1 by root alpha. This will give us minus 10. So we should find the frequency at minus 10 dB in the border plot nearly at minus 10 db it is 9 radians per second we got the omega value as 9 radians per second using this omega we will find capital T capital T is equals to 1 by omega root alpha which is 0 0.35 using this t we can find the pole and zero of the lead network so zero is equals to minus 1 by capital T which is minus 2.857 Pole is equals to minus 1 by alpha t which is minus 27.2. For adding the lead network, right click on the root locus and select the add lead. The location is at minus 2.857. Nearly here it will automatically add this zero also don't worry we can edit these locations by right click on the root locus and select the edit compensator here we can change the locations of this zero and the pole zero is minus 2.857 and the pole is minus 27.2 So this will change as this step response. Step response lies in the white region. So it satisfies the design requirements. The face margin is also greater than 60. But the gain margin is less than 20. So for this we should drag the magnitude plot. By increasing the gain, the gain, mar gain margin is decreasing. So we should decrease the gain so as to increase the gain margin greater than 20 so the gain margin is greater than 20 and the face margin is greater than 60 and the step response is also lying in the white region so now we will see the characteristics of the step response we should delete the design requirements now we will add all the characteristics settling time rise time steady state and the peak response 
now the rise time is 0.4 seconds which is less than 0.5 seconds and the settling time is 1.45 which is not necessary it is not given in the design requirements the final value is 1 this means the steady state error is 0 and there is no overshoot so overshoot is 0% thus we meet the all design requirements for the DC motor controller now we will see the value of C that is compensator transfer function by clicking on C we can see the transfer function in the preview window that is 1071.4 into S plus 2.857 divided by S into S plus 27.2 so this compensator will made the system to meet the given design requirements now we will see another application that is rc circuit so rc circuit contains a voltage source a resistor and a capacitor we will take the output voltage across the capacitor in this example the output voltage that is voltage across capacitor is controlled by the input voltage this transfer function is g of s is equal to 1 by 10s plus 1 this transfer function can be obtained by the following parameters now the design requirements for this controller is rise time should be less than 10 seconds steady state error should be less than 5% overshoot should be less than 20% gain margin should be greater than 20 db phase margin should be greater than 40 degrees so now we will implement this system in the control system designer toolbox in the command window we will assign the transfer function of the rc circuit to a variable capital g here we should use tf function so capital g is equals to tf of numerator coefficients 1 comma denominator coefficients that is 10 and 1 this will assign the transfer function to a variable capital G now we will call the control system designer toolbox using the command control system designer of capital G this command will invoke the toolbox and it will open the toolbox with the plan transfer function as G MATLAB helper regularly organizes monthly quiz contests on practical and theoretical topics. In March 2020, we organized a quiz on numerical methods. Read the testimonials from some of our winners. If you find it interesting, visit our website and test your skills now. You can book a certificate after the successful completion of the quiz. After opening the toolbox, there will be Bode Editor, Root Locus Editor and the Step Response for the system. We can change the architecture according to our requirement. Here I am using the default architecture that is this one. Here f c and h transfer functions will be unity we will manipulate the compensator transfer function according to our design requirements so i will press ok now i will give the design requirements into the step response So our requirement is the overshoot should be 20%, the rise time should be 20 seconds and the sorry the settling time should be 20 seconds and the rise time should be 10 seconds. So after pressing OK it will update this step response. It will look like this there is yellow region and white region we should change the 
step response into the white region accordingly we should manipulate it first we will add the grid into the border editor for better view now we will add a integrator first it will remove the steady state error and it will look like this now we will decrease the gains so as to decrease the oscillations we should not cross the rise time limit so we should change the gain accordingly so after changing the gain it will look like this the face matching is 28 degrees our requirement is 40 degrees so in order to increase the face margin and also to decrease the overshoot we will add a lead network so before adding a lead network we should design the lead network in the first step we will find phi phi is equals to face margin desired plus epsilon minus face margin actual where epsilon is any random multiple of phi here i took 10 so our desired face margin is 40 so phi is equals to 40 plus 10 minus our actual face margin that is 28 this will give us 27 now using this phi we will find alpha alpha is equals to 1 minus sine phi divided by 1 plus sine phi this will give 0 0.375 now using this alpha we will find capital A A is equals to minus 20 log of 1 divided by root alpha this is minus 4.26 now we should find the frequency at minus 4.26 db in the magnitude plot so at minus 4 db it is nearly 2.5 radians per second so the omega value will be 2.5 at minus 4.26 db the frequency is nearly 2.5 radians per second using this omega we can find capital T T is equals to 1 divided by omega root alpha this will give us 6.177 now using this capital T and this alpha we can find the pole and zero location of the lead network so zero location is minus 0 0.153 and the pole location is minus 0 0.408 now we will add the lead network for that right click on the root locus editor and select the edit compensator in this compensator editor window right click and add the lead network defaultly it is adding minus 1 and minus 10 we can change them so our pole location is minus 0 0.408 our zero location is minus 0 0.153 so close this editor window it came in the white region only Are you looking for the implementation of a paper in MATLAB or Simulink? Have you tried different ways but still not able to proceed in your work? Are you looking for help in a long term project or thesis? You have reached to the perfect place. At MATLAB Helper, we provide expert guidance with research assistance from one to one learning to full implementation of the work. Check all our amazing features and book your monthly plan today. So the step response is in the white region and the face margin is also greater than 40 degrees and gain margin is infinity which is greater than 20 dB. So we met the all design requirements. Now we will see the characteristics of the step response. First I will delete the design requirements. Now I will add the characteristics.
ఒక పీక్ రెస్పాన్స్ సెటిలింగ్ టైమ్ రైస్ టైమ్ అండ్ ది స్టడీ స్టేట్ as you can see the rise time is 6.38 which is less than 10 seconds the overshoot is 16.3% which is less than 20% and the final value is when there that is there is no steady state error thus we successfully met the all design requirements by tuning the compensator so we saw how the control system designer toolbox can be used for plotting border plot root locus and the step response not only these three we can plot different types of plots easily without writing any code and also we saw how to tune the compensator in order to meet the design requirements we can tune the compensator automatically using like pid in this toolbox there is some additional features which is very interesting that we can export the designed control system to this simile or also we can export the designed control system values to the workspace thank you for watching this video do like this video if you found it helpful if you have any query post it in the comments or get in touch with us follow us on linkedin facebook and subscribe to our youtube channel education is our future MATLAB is our feature. Happy MATLABing! Hello everyone, I am Roshni from MATLAB Helper. I want to thank you all for being a part of our webinars, quizzes and courses. We are doing a series of 5 webinars followed by live interactive sessions. I am hosting the webinar on Mapping Toolbox in MATLAB on 29th of August. 5 best comments from my webinar and live interactive session will be awarded with access to one premium course. Join my webinar to know about creating maps using map show creating rotating globes visualizing the covid-19 cases in an interactive globe to know more visit my webinar page test your learn skills by attending the free webinar quiz